EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchich here with your outlook for March 29th, 2024. It is Friday, end of the work week finally. It is also opening day for the Phillies and Mets today. It is rescheduled from yesterday. Friday's video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family owned and operated brewery with two locations in the Lehigh Valley. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street, and their second location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town, is located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both locations are open seven days a week and have a full food menu, plenty of beer to choose from for both dine-in and takeout, along with local wine and cocktails. They have trivia nights every single Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. and new beer releases just about every single week to check out. For details about that and all of their upcoming events, please visit their Facebook page or to place online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. So this is our system from yesterday that uh, is now moving offshore. Uh, brought some heavier rain into uh, parts of New Jersey and Delaware. Uh, that was not unexpected. And I use a double neg negative there. My third grade teacher would kill me for doing that. But it was something that was expected in those areas uh, to see the heavy rain. What was not as ex expected is that the westernmost extent would be cut off. Okay, we were back and forth with these. If you followed along the, the uh, videos that I did all week, we were, they were back and forth. Whether it's going to be a little bit too far south and east or if it's going to be more inclusive of the interior locations. And it looked, to, looked like all the way up until yesterday. And the video that I showed last night that there was going to be rain on the interior. And it would have been, if I back this up a little bit, uh, what ended up happening. See this see this heavier precipitation rates that were with this? This actually stole energy from the western side of this fringe here. So even though the name was showing precipitation all the way back to there, it didn't happen because they had rapidly rising motion near the coast and brought, in some cases, two inches of rain close to close to the shore point so it was a lot more rain that was expected there and that rapidly rising motion is what led to sinking air on the western side or western flank and uh, that's why you got shafted in places like uh, you know philadelphia western new jersey southeast pa period uh, didn't really see much of anything yesterday and that happens, that happened uh, most recently that I can remember, it was actually snow, not rain. But if you remember, we had that uh, system back in February that dumped a surprise swath of a foot of snow that went from central New Jersey through like the southern parts of the Lehigh Valley and back into, back into parts of Berks County. Uh, and it was just came out of nowhere, right? It was just rapidly rising motion and areas around it got shafted as a result of that. So it's one of those unforeseen things that happens and it, you know, happens for a reason. Uh, but as far as Major League Baseball is concerned, uh, the advice was to postpone today and go to Friday because it's going to be a much better day. It's going to be mostly sunny. We'll be a little bit breezy, but, you know, mostly sunny is the better. We're kind of doing a risk uh, risk management assessment, basically, and uh, what's the better odds here? We're playing the odds, and the odds were better uh, for a Friday game. So we're going to do it Friday for both uh, the Mets and uh, and the Phillies today. They will be home. Okay, so this system's going to move off, and then uh, we will be breezy today, as I mentioned. It's going to be a little breezy this morning, but it's really going to pick up this afternoon. Where we'll have a lot of the interior areas that will be 25 to 30 mile per hour peak gusts. That's not going to be the common gusts, but peak gusts are between 25 and 30. And then once we get into late afternoon, again, this is when the game's going on. You got some uh, some areas in the Poconos and parts of northern Jersey that are getting to about 35. Same thing for these areas down here, uh, southern Pennsylvania, including Philadelphia. We can get some wind gusts 30 to 35. Anything south of that line there with a low level jet moving across like this. So that's what we're dealing with today. Uh, once we hit sunset, though, this will start to rapidly diminish and the winds will start to die off. So a little breezy today for if you're going to the Phillies game or the game in New York uh, for the Mets taking on uh, the Brewers. And uh, both games will be breezy during the game, but no issues whatsoever with precipitation. Okay, so nice day otherwise. And not too bad in temperatures. You see above me 52 to 56 are temperatures today. 52 to 60 is a spread on Saturday. And the reason for that is that we have another weak system coming at us that's going to limit temperatures in the interior. But farther southeast, you won't be dealing with that. So we're looking at some showers moving across the region late afternoon Saturday through the evening, okay? And then it's not going to extend past midnight, it doesn't look like, and then this is quickly out of here. Sunday is going to be a delightful day. Uh, we're going to have mi uh, milder temperatures this weekend. Uh, that you're seeing above me, uh, 
tomorrow, 56 to 52 to 60 is Saturday. But when you get to Sunday, we're solidly in the 60s, 60 to 65 degree range across the region. It'll be pretty nice. Uh, and intervals of clouds of sun expected here on Sunday. Here's the NAM for that Saturday night system coming in. Uh, this isn't particularly heavy, but this is rain nevertheless. This is looking at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We've got some showers streaking across central Pennsylvania at this point. Makes it over to the eastern part of the state after that point. But these are just lighter showers, more of a nuisance than anything else. And this goes up to midnight, which is right here. So this comes in about 3, 4 o'clock, you know, in central PA, moves eastward. And uh, you got a couple, few intermittent light showers moving through the region with this weak short wave during that time frame, and that's it. That's, so it's not going to rain, ruin your entire weekend, but part of Saturday will be affected. We start off partly cloudy in the morning. Clouds quickly increase. You get the showers uh, coming in intermittently and light in the afternoon. And then after that point, we're going to turn our attention to next week. Okay, Next week is not going to be very good Okay, for most of it. And temperatures to start April. Monday, of course, is April 1st, April Fool's Day. Uh, Monday, starting Monday and going through at least the entirety, the entirety of the work week, temperatures are going to be below average. Okay, we're starting off April below average and uh, temperatures not too far from 50 degrees, 50, 51, 52, pretty much every single day, Monday through Thursday, you might get to the middle 50s on Friday. Uh, but then we turn the corner again, going to the next uh, into next weekend. We're actually going to turn on the jets with the temperatures, and it's going to be sustainable for about a week or so. It looks like we're going to have uh, temperatures above average. I have the long range being updated every single Friday, like I always do. Will be done today. It will indicate that that we are going to be turning milder here in the second week of April. Uh, so it is not going to be something that's going to be a theme, common theme for for April. It's starting off colder and below below average, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that we are dealing with the potential for a very prolonged wet event okay uh, it looks like monday uh, mostly cloudy skies and you have these showers moving in during the afternoon or later in the afternoon or evening and then we have rain going into monday night tuesday and this goes all in the european model and it goes all the way into wednesday all the way through midweek this is all the way through the end of wednesday and you see rain pretty much dominating for that entire period so this is a prolonged event not necessarily heavy at any particular time but it's just prolonged. It's going to be a nuisance, and it's going to be cold and, and uh, colder, and the uh, showers and clouds around all the time. So once we get to Thursday, though, the system is going to exit. Still might be a leftover shower with this if the European model is correct. But we have partly cloudy skies in most of our area here for Thursday, but still chilly with that influence until that trough lifts out. It begins to do so on Friday, but then once you get into next weekend, it's really going to start to warm up again. Uh, temperatures will get into... Uh, again, slightly above average levels for that second week of April. And at that time, we're talking about temperatures normally, normal high temperatures are getting close to the 60 degree mark at that point. Or actually, you, in most places already are 60 degrees or better uh, in terms of what averages are. So we're going to be above that, at least slightly above average that. So we could be talking about mid 60s, mid upper 60s by the time we get through uh, that second week of April. So it's coming, but we have to get through early April, which is going to be a little bit colder than average. Uh, but, uh, you know, until we get there or until we get past that, it's going to, you know, we, we, we do see a light at the end of the tunnel with the uh, spring lake week coming in the second week of April. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich. That is your outlook for March 29th, 2024. Have a great Friday.